Hi everybody, this is Lauren of Plan Mosh Plan. Welcome back to another plan with me. Um, this is for the week of uh, May 27th, goodness. It was Memorial Day. This is a foiled kit. I think it's the first foiled kit I've ever received from um, Two Little Bees. I am obsessed with it. I think if I'm not mistaken, it's called Sup sakura sunset i don't want to butcher that if that's wrong um if i pronounce that incorrectly i know that i think sakura or however you say that is um like the japanese cherry blossom i think i think um which i love like i am obsessed with japanese cherry blossoms i think they're so beautiful and i i just would put them all over my house like I would put them in landscaping. I just think they're like the most beautiful flowers ever. And this kit was so beautiful. It was so like, I was so obsessed with it. I, I think I explained this whenever I, I did like an Instagram haul of this kit when I got it. And I think I talked about this then, but that was a while ago. Um, but I explained in that video that I was, um, I somehow missed it. Like when she released it, I didn't see it and I kind of missed the release of it. And then I think I started seeing people like either showing pictures of it or once people started getting it in the mail. And I was like, how did I miss that? Like that's the most beautiful kid I've ever seen. The mix, you know, if you watch me at all, you know, I love the mix of like photography elements and also like art elements together, which this kit did a really great job of in my opinion. Um, and the colors are like exactly perfect. And then all the Japanese cherry blossoms, like literally this is one of the most beautiful kits I've ever seen. Um, and I was so disappointed when she, um, when I didn't get it the first time around. And then I somehow managed to snag it in either a re-release or I, I don't, I want to say that I maybe got something that was like a foil, like oopsie or something. Although I don't think this kit is because I'm looking at it and all the foil is perfect as far as I'm concerned and I have a pretty like harsh judgmental eye about um you know perfect foil so I don't think that this was one of those unless she has just like impeccable standards which may be may be true I don't really know but anyways it's literally such a beautiful kit and I love it so much and I would use it every week to plan if I could um it's one of those kits too sorry you can see my head you keep seeing my <laughs> um and I'm like I have my hair in a ponytail and it's super frizzy um anyways it's one of it's one of those kits where it's so beautiful and I just kind of had to like make myself use it because I wanted to save it and save it and save it forever and then I did use it and my it just like didn't meet my standards of like how I wanted to plan with it like the kit was perfect beautiful 100% 10 out of 10 but then me trying to like use it and incorporate it with my style like I didn't quite measure up you know what I'm saying like I would have looking back at it, I might have tried a slightly different, like, approach to it. I mean, you can see what, you'll see the plan with me at the end, and you can let me know what you think, but I ended up using, there's some, like, kind of, um, like, cartoony pieces of deco that she includes in the kit, so I ended up pulling some, like, Fox and Pip stickers, and some GP Sticker Studio stickers, and um, some white deer stationary stickers that kind of went along with that but I almost feel like this kit is so beautiful and delicate that I should have done like a more delicate sticker style to go along with the kit rather than like pulling off the like kind of more cartoony looking icons um, so who knows maybe I'll just buy it again and do it over <laughs> no I won't do that I have way too many kits to do that but I don't know. It, it's cute. I'm not going to say that I don't like how it turned out because I do. It's very beautiful. And like, honestly, the artwork is so beautiful. It's impossible to mess up. I think, um, especially when it's like pink and I have some, like there's so many different shades of pink and I have so many different pink stickers, like everything just goes with this kit. Um, but yeah, so that's, <laughs> that's kind of how I feel about it. Sorry. I've just been kind of talking over, um, everything I'm doing. I, although I don't really find, um, talking about putting down the like base of stickers very interesting because it tends to be like pretty much the same for me every week or with very minor differences um yeah so anyways just whiting stuff out you know putting stuff down um I should mention too um two things one I have I think about six or seven videos filmed right now like although it seems like I'm months and months behind in my plan with me spreads I actually have them all filmed I just don't have them all edited and voiced over and I like wish I could pay somebody to just edit all my videos for me because I find it so boring like truly I do um 
to edit them or at least just like not boring but like not stimulating like I'd rather just be planning you know and then I like doing the voiceover part that part's fine and I like posting them but the editing them can be a little bit tedious so I'm just a little bit behind there although today I like while I was editing this video it's a Saturday and I've had like this is the first weekend that I've like had some time to just chill at home for a couple weekends now um and that's what I've been doing I literally have not got up off the couch at all like I've just been sitting here and I do want it like editing quote-unquote a video for like five hours because it doesn't take me five hours but the reason it's taken me so long is I'm talking so fast I'm so sorry I'm gonna slow down I'm gonna take a breath and chill um the reason that it's taken me this long is because I was watching um, I don't really watch TV ever. Like, I just, it's, I'm not interested. I will watch, I have a couple HBO shows that I'm interested in, although they're like Game of Thrones and Big Little Lies, which I think are both done now, which is annoying. But, um, and I don't like how Big Little Lies ended either. I feel very like, what the heck was that about? Um, anyways, I, what I was doing today was watching um, the um, salt acid fat no salt fat acid heat I think is the order it goes in which is a like documentary series on Netflix about food it was so good I had watched the other three Stephen got mad at me because I watched them without I watched them without him and I was like sorry friend um and then I tried to get him to watch heat with me but he was like offended that I cheated on him and watched them without it you know without him so anyways I watched heat today so good love the series recommend it if you like like cooking at all and then I also watched homecoming I'm in the middle of it right now I'm an hour in um homecoming by Beyonce both are, are on Netflix and they're so good so that's what I've been doing while I've been editing <laughs> this video and I feel like there's probably going to be like really long editing gaps in this video because um I've been like half paying attention and half like watching really interesting things while I edit normally I'll like listen to a podcast or something while I edit um, that doesn't really require me to look up, but both of them, both of those, like, Netflix specials have been so, like, visually entertaining as well that I've been, like, not keeping my eyes entirely on the, on the editing, so it took me forever, and, um, yeah, probably, there's probably gonna be some sort of, like, weird gaps, but, okay, anyways, I've talked over most of Monday now, so, um, I'm gonna have to think back, because it has been a while since this week happened in my life, but, it was Memorial Day, um, so I was off on Monday. I used a flag from the kit and then a uh, Memorial Day script from Artbox Stickers. Those are my favorite holiday scripts. I love them so much. I think her handwriting is so cute. And then I marked the day off with another flag from the kit. And then that foiled day off sticker is from White Deer Stationery. Um, you just saw me mark groceries and meal prep with a little bag of flour that's also from White Deer Stationery. And then it got cut off, I think, but at the bottom there, I used that planner was from the kit, and that was like what I was talking about with the kind of more cartoony deco. Um, that's like a little bit more, that's kind of the Fox and Pip style that I was pulling from, was that kind of that style to me. They go together well. Um, to mark that I both filmed and uploaded a plan with me, it probably wasn't the same one. I probably uploaded one and then filmed one. And then I also marked um, finishing all my laundry, which I probably had quite a bit to do. I'm trying to see what I did this weekend before. Oh, I have another plan with me from right before this that I haven't, I filmed it, but I haven't uploaded it. I don't know why I went out of order. That's weird. Um, I think I just had a chill weekend. That's kind of nice. The weekend before, like it's just a chill three day weekend. Gosh, I freaking wish I would take one of those in a heartbeat right now. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get one of those until, what is the next one, February? I guess there's one in September, but I'm probably going to be like, it's a month before my wedding. I'm going to be, it's going to be nuts. Um, okay, on to Tuesday, I marked my class pass renewing. I was so bad. I think I didn't barely use class pass at all the past like month or two, which is so bad. I've just been so busy and not being able to prioritize working at all, which is terrible. Um, you'll start to see, I think I mentioned this in my last plan with me that I put up, but starting kind of like the end of May, um, I just started like, for me, it's really my busy season started. Um, and you'll see that I'm just like, I'll mark working late, um, like uh, multiple times a week where I'm at work until like eight o'clock at night or seven thirty at night or something. I don't get home till like almost like, you know, 8, 30, 8, 8, 30, 9 o'clock, and then I have an hour or two and I go to bed and I do it all again. So 
it's been that's why I just haven't been posting very much and I haven't had a lot of chances to work out recently it's it's been a lot so um and then of course I'm trying to like plan the wedding at the same time and then it's like a whole freaking thing obviously I'm not like (laughs) I'm not complaining it's good being busy is a good thing but it's also just a hard thing I think um okay so Tuesday I marked the class pass all the stickers on top are um for from the kit except for the laptop girls from panda bird designs or design i also marked um the dress fitting that's not for me it's a sticker from my wedding sampler um that i got from letters to apollo but i I actually went to have my dress i was a bridesmaid at my cousin's wedding which was the week after this i think so i had to get that um fitted and like hemmed and stuff so I went to the tailor that day and marked that with a bow I think maybe from the kit and then the letters to Apollo script and then the um cup is from Fox and Pip as well and I marked going to Starbucks with Steven I got into a really bad habit I've kind of stopped doing it but there was a couple weeks there like I was talking about how busy I was at work and um a lot of what I do is like I I host a lot of meetings for people um and so there'll be days when I have like three meetings and then I'll have calls on top of that and other stuff and then I'm really busy trying to get stuff done and I just like would not eat basically until like 3 p.m and then Steven I'd be like Steven you want to go for a walk because we work across the street for each other and I'd go get like Starbucks get like a coffee and a croissant and that would be lunch I did that a couple times this week and like the following weeks and it was a I knew it was a bad habit that I had to break but I do mark that down a couple times this week and then I also marked, um, I, there on the 28th, it was, um, a year of us being engaged. So I took, um, a Magic Prince Co. ring sticker to mark that. We got engaged on Memorial Day last year. So just wanted to mark that cause that's kind of fun. Um, Wednesday I marked that I had to do some budgeting, um, with our florist. And then I put a rose color days, Nikki plans squiggle under that. I marked my meetings the same way every day this week. So again, Panda Bird Design and um, a quarter box. I marked editing a video with a laptop from the kit and then I put um, a foiled heart over top that. And then I marked working late with a half box and a pen from the kit. And oh, that edit script on Wednesday, I think it's from, oh, I have them. I think I have them from Sticky Soft Designs and Magic Prints Co. And they look pretty similar and I can't remember which one that was. Um, on Thursday, I marked that we had this like emergency water shut off issue at my apartment, and that was kind of annoying. Um, so I marked that with a Nikki plus three bow, which is cute. And then I also marked having five meetings on Thursday, the same way that I marked it on Tuesday and Wednesday, except for I put the laptop girl on top, so it would take up a little bit more space. Um, sometimes I do that because sometimes it feels like that's all I do all day is just go to meetings and then I have to stay late to work and then, uh, I get home and that's like, I, all my energy for the day is done. Um, so again, this was another one of those days where I had a bunch of meetings. I didn't get to Starbucks until late and Steven and I went and I got a, um, you know, sandwich or whatever. Um, and the cup is from GP Sticker Studio. That laptop that I marked working late with at the bottom of Thursday there is also from GP Sticker Studio. I just layered it over a flag from the kit. And then all of the um, bows, well, the bows and the hearts that I'm using are from, um, to like foil things, are from Tassel to Planner, I think. And some are from Sticky Soft Designs. Um, marked Payday on Friday. I'm sorry, I don't remember who that script is from. And then I marked... Um, being on site, one of my projects were was completed on Friday, so I went there in the morning to see the kind of completion of that happening, um, and I marked it with a shopping bag from Crafts by Towie and a heart from Clever Gal Crafts, and then right after I was on site, that was really fun. My like some of my sisters, my one of my sisters were there, and her one of my friends was there. My mother in law came, or my future mother in law came, um, so that was a nice morning. And then directly after that. I drove over to another project that I was working on. Um, I don't always, like, I work on projects all over the place. Um, I don't always, like, go to them, but sometimes if I'm working on something where something's happening nearby, I will. So I went to another one (laughs) right after that and marked that with a little arrow from the kit, and then my boss was at that other one. So he took me out to lunch, and we went to True Foods, which is, like, I love True Foods. I, it's such a good restaurant, truly. If there's one by you, go to it. It's amazing. And then um, 
I had a really lazy night that night. Honestly, I stayed home. Steven and I got um, takeout. These like really good. They're kind of like Californian, Filipino, like Mexican kind of style fusion tacos. Really good. And I just literally like so much was happening with those two projects that I was literally like working kind of at home, like lazy working like in bed or on the couch, but answering emails and stuff till like 1130 at night. It was a whole thing. Um, okay. On to Saturday, I marked, um, that it was, uh, first day of June. So I marked that with the hello June script from rose color days. And then I put some deco, some of the cherry blossoms from the kit layered over a half box. Oh my gosh. I want to cough so bad. I just ate ice cream. It makes me want to cough. Does that happen to anyone else? Ice cream makes me cough so much. Um, I marked that I had my, I think I must have got my Erin Condren this day, I think, and I marked that I had some happy mail and I did an Instagram haul with an envelope from the kit and a bow from Tasseled Planner. I marked my rent being due, um, let's see, with another arrow from the kit, and then, sorry, this part got a little cut out, but I did some shopping for my cousin's wedding, um, I think probably just online, I don't think I went anywhere, and then at the very bottom, you'll see it um, in a little bit, I cut it out on accident, but I marked posting a plane with me with a Fox and Pip, um, sticker, like planner, Kate Spade planner. Um, on Sunday I marked that it was my friend's birthday. Um, and I used a flag from the kit and then a heart from Rose Color Days and Nikki Plans collaboration. Um, and then honestly, I'm a little embarrassed <laughs> about this, but, um, I had like, the, not, it, I'm not embarrassed about it. I'm embarrassed about how I wrote this. I marked that I had a wedding planning appointment. Steven and I went to a wedding planning appointment at our venue. Um, and I marked it with a ring sticker, a like little squiggle swoosh thing from rose color days, but my handwriting on the half box is literally embarrassing. So don't mind that at all. And then Sunday was kind of a crazy day. So we did that. Um, and then you'll see in a second, I also marked that we were picking up some wine, um, because we're getting married at a winery. So we went wine tasting and I used a little wine glass sticker. I always forget the shop that that's from. I've used it a couple times now. Um, so I marked picking up wine and going wine tasting. Um, and then at the very bottom, I'm taking this Fox and Pip girl who looks kind of tired. Like she's like in comfy clothes, but she's working to mark that. I actually worked overnight. I went to one of the, like, the projects that I was working on and, like, worked an overnight shift with the people who were, like, out there, and it was very exhausting. I think I was, I think I got there at, like, 6 or 7 o'clock at night, and then I left at, like, 2 in the morning or 3 in the morning or something. Like, it was, it was very, it was kind of crazy. Um, but it kind of needed to happen because it was like this crazy project that just kind of, I had, you know, no time to work on and I just really kind of needed to be there. So that was a crazy night, especially after like having some wine during the day and then being like, okay, time time to go work tonight and like doing all the wedding planning and stuff. Um, but yeah, so this was kind of a, a weird week, a crazy week, but, um, like I said, being, being busy is good. So I definitely can't complain. Um, but this is the spread all filled out. You let me know what you think. Do you like that? It kind of has some of the cartoony stickers, or do you think some simpler stickers would have been nice? I I don't know. I think it looks, I, I mean, obviously all lit up with the foil. It looks very pretty. The kit is very pretty. So I can't complain. Also, sorry, I feel like I've been talking so fast. I don't know why. I feel like I've just had three cups of coffee, but I really haven't. I don't know what's gotten into me. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have. Um, thank you so much for watching. You can always find me on Instagram, Plan Moche Plan. And that's all. Bye.